Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Zodiac Beast combo tutorial video, and this time it is going to be on an insane fusion substitute combo that allows you to draw seven new cards to your hand and end with a rather large board. Now, full credit goes to my personal friend Owsley Tanner for coming up with this combo. It uses new cards from Maximum Crisis, and he made a video that he put in the Zodiac Duelist Facebook group, but since he did not own any of the physical cards and he did not have any way to make actual printed proxies, the video went ultimately under like appreciated under recognized um, and basically no one really took it seriously because of the fact that all of his cards were literally like janky commons with the names of the cards he was actually using for the combo sharpied over them so it was kind of hard to follow and ultimately it just didn't really get a lot of recognition or like just a lot of respect uh, so I am here trying to fill that void uh, with actual copies of the cards and printed proxies. So basically that's that. But what this is, this is a fusion substitute combo using cards from Maximum Crisis, specifically the two Predaplant cards, uh, Predaplant Scorpio and Predaplant Darling Cobra. Uh, and what this is, is it's a combo that lets you draw seven new cards. You end with Double Emerald, Dryden, and a Seraph Knight. Uh, you end with seven new cards in hand on top of the two that you had in your hand alongside the combo when you started. And then, uh, so you ultimately end with 11 cards, and it's a three-card combo, but it's only a two-specific card combo. The reason I say it's a three-card combo is because you have to have a monster to discard for Scorpio's effect. But if you do not know what Scorpio does, his effect is when he's normal or special summoned, you can discard a monster to your graveyard to summon a Predaplant from your deck. And you summon this guy, which is Predaplant Darling Cobra. And Cobra's effect is when it's summoned by the effect of a Predaplant card, once per duel, you can add a card that has either Fusion or Polymerization in its name from your deck to your hand. Uh, and this card's effect is when it's a uh, normal or special summon, so you can Lone Fire into this, essentially making you have six copies of this card, uh, so it's pretty easy to get to. And then for the combo, all you need is either Brilliant Fusion or Instant Fusion. does not matter which one, you just need one of either of them, and you're playing three of each, so essentially that's six starter cards plus six starter cards for a rather easy-to-achieve combo. And even if you don't open the Fusion card, just Scorpio and a monster by itself is a draw five Fusion Substitute combo. So, anyway... This uh, this combo, like I said, requires Scorpio plus uh, plus any of the fusion cards, and it doesn't matter what monster you have, but it does make it into a three card combo. Uh, so just saying, Terra Top is in my hand here is what we'll do here. Uh, but going forward, uh, like just know that the monster that you have in your hand literally does not matter what it is. It can be any monster in your deck. It does not affect the combo in any way, shape, or form. Now during this combo, you're going to be summoning Rapier seven times, which is absolutely insane considering the card is at two. And, uh, hashtag ban Norden, because Jesus Christ, these things are only possible because Norden exists. But, the way you're going to start your combo is you're going to summon your Scorpio or your Lone Fire into Scorpio, and use its effect to discard the monster that was in your hand, and summon your Darling Cobra from your deck. Now, Darling Cobra's effect is going to trigger searching a card with fusion in its name, so you're going to search the Instant Fusion or Brilliant Fusion, whichever one you are missing. Uh, now from here you're going to activate the Brilliant Fusion, and you're going to send Garnet and uh, Trick Clown to your graveyard in order to summon Gym Knight Seraph Knight. Now your Trick Clown is going to trigger, you're going to take a thousand life and it's going to be special summoned. Now you're going to overlay your two uh, Preda Plants into MX Saber Invoker, and then from here you're going to use Invoker's effect to special summon your first Rat Pierre from deck. Now you're going to take your Borbo and you're going to overlay it on top, and then you're going to overlay Broadbull on top of Borbo. And you're going to detach both materials to summon the Rat Pier from deck and then search for your Lunalite Black Sheep, which is then going to search for your Fusion Substitute. Now, because this is a draw 7 combo, you're going to be using Fusion Substitute three times this turn, so you're going to be using three Fusion Subs in your main deck. You're going to overlay your Trick Clown and your Rat Pier into your first Digusto Emerald. And off this Digusto Emerald, you're going to detach Rat Pier and you're going to shuffle back Rat Pier, the Lunalite Black Sheep, and the Borbo. You're going to leave one Rat Pier in Graveyard. And so this goes back to your extra deck, these go back into your main deck, and you draw your first card. From here, you're going to use Fusion Substitute on that Emerald plus the Broad Bull, and you're going to go into your Elder Entity, Norden, and Norden is going to bring back your Rat Pier. And Fusion Substitute goes to Grave. And then from here, you're going to overlay these into your Broad Bull, your second Broad Bull. This combo does require three Broad Bull, and you're going to detach the Norden and the Rat Pier to summon your Rat Pier from deck again, and you're going to add Black Sheep to your hand again, the same Black Sheep, and you're going to discard it to add Fusion Substitute to your hand. Now from here, you've got the Norden and Fusion Substitute 1 in Grave, so you're going to banish the first Fusion Substitute to put Norden back into your extra deck, and you're going to draw another card. Now from here, you're going to use the second Fusion Substitute, and you're going to use this Fusion Substitute on MX Saber Invoker and the second Broad Bull, 
and you're going to summon the Norden again. And now this time, Norden is going to bring back either Garnet or Trick Clown. It does not matter which one you bring back because you'll be bringing back the second copy um, of whatever you sent off Brilliant Fusion later in the combo. You will overlay the Trick Clown and the Norden into your second Digesto Emerald. And you will use this Digesto Emerald specifically detaching the Norden, leave the Trick Clown underneath it. You will put back the first Emerald, you will put back the Black Sheep, and you will put back Rap here. So these will go back into your deck, and then this will go back into your extra, and you will draw a card. So you're at three draws now. But we will use the Fusion Substitute here, specifically to shuffle back the Norden, draw our fourth card, and then from here you're open to activate the Instant Fusion and summon the Norden, and then this Norden will bring back Garnet. So you're bringing back both cards that you used off of your Brilliant Fusion to summon the Seraph Knight. So that's pretty cool. You're going to overlay Norden plus that Rat Pier that was left on your board into the third Broad Bull. It does require three Broad Bull in your deck to get this going. As you can see, there's two in Grave already. And you're going to detach the Norden and the Rat Pier off the Broad Bull. You're going to summon the Rat Pier that went back to your deck. And then you're going to add the Lunalite Black Sheep that went back to your deck to your hand. You're going to discard it to add the fusion substitute. Now you're going to overlay that wrap here with the garnet that's left on the board because the garnet didn't get banished because Norden never left the board it was overlaid with and you're going to summon Digesto Emerald. You're going to summon the first Digesto Emerald that you summoned. So essentially this is the uh, the same one that you summoned the first time that got fused away with. Now you're going to detach wrap here and you're going to shuffle back the wrap here, the Norden, and one of the Broad Bulls. Uh, it's very important that you shuffle these three specifically back. Uh, because you're going to be using Broad Bull again this turn. Uh, it's actually insane, but you are just going to be doing that. But Rat Pier goes back into your deck, and then you draw another card. So that puts you at 5. And now from here, you're going to Fusion Sub. You're going to Fusion Sub with the Broad Bull, plus the Emerald that does not have Trick Clown under it. You're going to Fusion Sub here into the Norden that you just put back into your extra deck. And then Norden's effect here is going to Special Summon Rat Pier. And then Rat Pier here is going to overlay with the Norden into that same Broad Bull you just put back, you're going to detach both materials off of this, you're going to summon Rat Pier from deck, and then you're going to get a Search. Uh, this time, you're out of Fusion Substitutes. You've used all three, so the Lunalite Black Sheep isn't back in your deck. You didn't shuffle it back off that last Emerald. Uh, so you're going to add, specifically, a level 4. The specific one that I add here, and like is probably best to add here, is Zodiac Whiptail, because you'll be able to use that later in the turn to put it under Dryden't. But now using your additional normal summon from the Seraph Knight, you're going to normal summon your Whiptail, and you're going to overlay it into uh, into uh, a uh, second Digesto Emerald. Or not even second Digesto Emerald. This is the third Digesto Emerald. This combo requires three Digesto Emeralds in your extra deck. Uh, and you're going to detach the Whiptail into the grave, and you're going to put back Rat Pier, you're going to put back the first Digesto Emerald, and you're going to put back uh, anything you want, really. It could be Broad Bull, it could be Invoker or anything. This spot is really flex in terms of what you can put back. It doesn't really matter, but you put the Rat Pier back into your deck, and then you draw your your uh, sixth card. Now from here, you get to use Norden uh, with the Fusion Substitute left in Grave. You get to banish the Fusion Sub, put the Norden back into your extra deck, and you get to draw your seventh card. So you've drawn seven cards, and then from here you've got this Broad Bull left over on the board. So what you get to do is you get to put Tiger Mortar on top of the Broad Bull. You get to detach the Broad Bull to get Whip Tail from Grave and put it underneath the Tiger Mortar and then you get to summon your Dryden't. And so your Dryden't has Whiptail underneath it, you've got Seraph Knight on the board, you've got Double Emerald, those are all resolved, and you've got seven new cards in hand uh, that were all not there before. And, uh, and so what you get with these seven new cards is that you already had two cards left over in your hand because this was a three card starting combo. Uh, so like you just end up with all these extra cards and like I said, you started with three cards and you end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cards. This card technically really doesn't count because it's Brilliant Fusion, so it's just sitting on the board doing nothing. It's fake card economy. It's fake card advantage. But this is 12 cards that you yielded out of three. If you want to be technical, this is the only card that actually matters, so it's 11 cards that you got. So that's overall a plus 8 that you yielded out of those three cards. And it's pretty reasonable for you to be able to accomplish this combo as well. Like I said, if you run Lone Fire and you run uh, Scorpio, and you run three of each Brilliant Fusion and Instant Fusion, then you're able to pull off this combo statistically, first turn, 30% of your games. You have a 30% probability of opening uh, the combo, of just opening either Lone Fire or Scorpio, plus opening one of the uh, Fusion cards. But like I said, uh, Scorpio by itself, uh, just discarding a monster, can use Darling Cobra to search Instant Fusion, and that's a draw five combo using two Fusion subs. 
um, like by itself. And then at any point during that combo, if you draw Brilliant Fusion, you can just slap the Brilliant Fusion down, get Seraph Knight, get the Trick Clown to make you have an additional level four, which allows you to go, go do the draw seven combo, and then you can uh, then you can gain your additional normal summon for your uh, Whip Tail. Uh, so ultimately, like the combo is very flexible because you can just open Scorpio, and then off of literally five chances, you can draw into Brilliant Fusion, uh, and then just do that. So it's this is a super cool combo. I'm really interested in this sort of stuff. Um, I really like the fact that like Zoo is just such a really heavy combo deck. But god damn it, can we ban Norden already, please? I mean, look at this. We're just using three Fusion substitutes for all this nonsense. That's absolutely ridiculous like you you had two other cards in your hand as well like look at how many cards you have off of this uh, interaction in this combo i bet you thought predator plants were going to be that cool fusion deck right i bet you didn't think luna lights were going to be abused in zodiacs when that was uh when that was a thing either right like ugh, i'm getting i'm getting sick of this stuff but also very intrigued but anyway as always guys thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below let me know if you're just absolutely disgusted by this or if you think it's really mad cool because i'm somewhere in the middle of that right now i think that this is hilariously cool but also just absolutely ridiculous that uh that things like this exist in the game but anyway let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below but other than that like and subscribe to see more content from me check out the links in the description to my facebook pages as well as my patreon page if you want to support me directly and also get access to a monthly giveaway at the end of this month for a couple of boxes of duelist saga i like to say thanks to the people that help me out when they don't have to and ultimately these monthly giveaways i do through my patreon are the way that i give back to people and say thanks for helping me out when you really didn't have to but other than that if you want to acquire any cards that you see that are on screen or any other cards for decks or whatever then check out second chance gaming's website which is linked also in the description they are a direct sponsor of me and this channel and i'm a big fan of how they do business with what i've experienced thus far if you check out their site and you acquire any cards for your decks or projects then let them know that phoenix sent you but other than that that is it for this video again let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below super curious to hear if you guys like or hate this uh and all that sort of nonsense but other than that that's it for this video thanks for your time as usual guys and take care i will see you in the next video